Thank you for coming to see me. You even look more beautiful than the last time I saw you. Oh, thank you so much. You're not looking bad too, but you're still the same like the last time I saw you. Oh God, emotional damage. Don't mind me, you look stunning. I know you're only saying it for me to feel better. My only happiness, you even find me a little attractive. Yes, you are. So tell me, are you married? No, I'm not. I've been single for many years now. I don't even know how it feels to be in a relationship. Same here. I've been single ever since I traveled to Germany. And here I am in Nigeria. Still a single man. And why are you still single? You only use and dump ladies? Of course not. I'm not just interested in being in a relationship with just any lady. I want to take my time to start before going into any relationship. That's nice. You want to be free from gold diggers. They are everywhere. I know you are not one of them. Talking to you feels like I have known you for years. And what if I am a gold digger? I know you are not. I would never be so quick to admit they are gold diggers. <laughs> you are funny. I'm glad you find me funny. So your family stays in this city too? Not at all. I squat with my friend. I've not been able to get an apartment for myself at the meantime. I hope she's not giving you troubles. No, she's not. We are like sisters. We have been friends for a very long time. She has never made me feel like I'm squatting with her or whatsoever. I was really surprised to see your message saying you have something to discuss with me. Yes, David. But it seems you want to go out. I can wait here for you to return. No, don't worry. I don't mind sparing you a few minutes of my time to listen to what you have to say. First of all, you look hungry. I bet you haven't cooked anything. I can help you tidy something up in the kitchen. Thank you, Anita. I don't need your help. I have hands. I can do them myself. Thanks for the offer. You are welcome. But in case you change your mind, I am still available. I am still waiting for what you have to say. You know I was already on my way going out when you came in. So go ahead. David. I am very sure you know by now I have fallen deeply for you. I don't think I heard you correctly. You heard what I said. I am in love with you. Do you think it is ordinary for me to come over here and always offer to cook for you? Wow. I have never felt this way for any man. I have been thinking about you ever since I set my eyes on you. I am sure you have feelings for me too. But you are engaged to be married to my friend. What do you think will happen if he finds out? I don't care about him. I will end the relationship with him as soon as possible. Ooh, I don't wanna fall in love again. Why did you tell me to wait here for you? What is the problem? You this Tony, you seem to be the kind of person that doesn't like minding his business. I don't have much time to waste here. Why did you call me to wait on the road for you? I am seeing the game you are playing. Why are you bent on letting Lizzy to stop working in her husband's company? I did not tell her to stop working here. I just want the best for her. She just lost her husband. She should be at home mourning him. Just imagine the kind of mentality you have. So because she lost her husband, she's not allowed to work. I know you are behind all this. Three months is not too long for her to spare for her husband. Why the rush? You don't work here. You know nothing about business. So you have no right to interfere. I have every right to interfere. I worked for Mr. Michael until his last days. He was really kind to me. I will not let a man like you mislead his wife into rushing to sign some contract in this company. And you think you can stop me? I would do everything in my power to stop you. I don't know why I don't like you. You don't have to like me. Because I don't like you either. I just want you to stay out of my way. Else... Never be that girl again. Just imagine his audacity. I don't even know what's giving that boy the audacity to think he can step on my toe. Now wow, why is he doing all this? I was here thinking everything would be in our favor soon. His little busybody will not make me give up. I gave him the warning of his life. If he tries me again, then I'll deal with him. What will you do to him? As it stands now, we are killers. I must get to the 100 million era that was transferred into his account. So anybody that stands in my way, I will deal with the person. I don't like the fact you called us killers. That's the bitter truth. We are killers. And you told me the money was transferred into the company's account. So I'm trying to get hold of the money in the account. So this one that Tony is in our way, how are we going to do it? Let's just kill him. God forbid. I cannot do that anymore. The first one was a mistake. I cannot stain my hand with blood again. <laughs>
The fact that it is your hand has already been stained with blood. There is no going back. You have to get that 100 million Naira. Guy, what's up? I did. You took so long to come here. Were you busy? No, I wasn't. I was having a nap. I have been stressed these past few days, so I decided to rest for a while. It's okay. Please sit down. I have something to tell you. What is the problem? I am still angry with you about the fact that I offered to go have some bottles of drinks with you, but you turned me down. I'm sorry, bro. You know how it was that day. You know, I really turned you down. No verse. No, Wahala. I hope we can hang out today, then at least to make it up to me. And don't say no. Of course, we can hang out. So, what do you want to tell me? How strong is your relationship with Anita? Are you sure you still want to make her your wife? Yes, of course. I love that girl so much. Only that she's giving me attitude these days. And she's yet to accept my proposal. Do you know why she has been giving you attitude? No, I don't. It is because of me. <laughs> Such a funny joke. So you think I will believe this joke of yours? How can Anita be giving me attitude because of you? I'm telling you the whole truth, bro. I will be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from... Good morning, Lizzie. Did I hear you correctly? Did you just call me Lizzie? Have you forgotten I am still your boss? Yes, you are my boss, but... Because I want to talk to you as my sister. What is the problem? Why should I even listen to someone like you? What advice can you offer me? I had a very terrible dream last night. It was so frightening. So I decided to come this early morning to tell you about it. What kind of dream did you have? I saw you falling inside a pit. It was pitch black and you were shouting for help. A man with a face mask was laughing and making fun of you instead of helping you. <laughs> you better go back to sleep. I am definitely not the person you saw in your dream. This is not a joke, Lizzie. I think you should take this serious. You have to think about it and be careful. Never you in your life refer to me as Lizzie again. If you are tired of your job, then you quit. Please listen to me. Everything I saw looked so real. You have to be very careful. Enough of this nonsense. Go and get ready. You will be taking me to the company in the next two hours. Okay, ma. I can't take it anymore, Charity. I love him so much. Oh, please, pay me that. You and I know you don't love him, but it's money. How could you propose your feelings to a guy? Because I know he loves me, but he is just feeling shy to tell me. You should see the way he welcomes me whenever I go to his house. Really, how shameless you can be. The guy you are talking about is your fiance's best friend. Point of correction. I am not yet married to Andy. In fact, I never agreed to marry him. So please, stop calling him my fiancé. I'm so ashamed of you, Anita. I've always known to be a straightforward person and not a whole do digger. You and Andy have always been in love. We were in love, but we are no longer in love. Why is it so hard for you to understand? Understand what exactly? After all the things you have done, and after all the things he has done for you, this is how you intend to pay him back. This is not fair at all. I don't understand you. Are you for me or you are against me? Why are you talking to me like this? Are we not friends anymore? Because we are friends does not mean I will not tell you the truth. Stay away from his best friend. Just be patient. Okay then, it's just that I don't want to call her and inform her that I am here because I have a surprise for her. Please, I need your help. What is the problem? Is it about Lizzie? Yes, it's about her. She has been behaving strange these past few days. I don't feel comfortable when I see Aloy with her. Who is Aloy? Aloy is the general manager in her husband's company. He has been managing the company even when Michael was alive. So what is wrong with them being together? I mean, since he is the general manager, then they have to be together often. It's not like that. The way I see that guy, it seems he is trying to... Hey, baby. Oh, wow. See who we have here. Austin, been a long time I saw you. Where have you been? I knew you would miss me by the time I come back. How have you been? I've been very fine. How about you? You're not looking bad too. How have you been too? I've been fine. I'm glad to see you are so happy to see me. I am sure you missed me. I mean, who wouldn't miss a funny guy like you? 
Where have you been all this while? At home working. Will you be free this evening? Can we hang out? I have somewhere special I want to take you to. Somewhere special, okay? Please, I'm not coming. I'm not happy to see you, not because I want to follow you to anywhere. Charity, be romantic for once. Why are you always hard on me? I am not hard on you. How are you coping with everything? I came to your office earlier, but I was told you stepped out. Where did you go to? I went to have lunch. The break time just finished. I was expecting you to also go for lunch. I don't even have any appetite to eat anything. I have been trying to understand everything I have on my desk. I hope they are not hard for you. You know you can always call my attention to anyone you don't understand. Okay. I already sent an email to you. I hope you received it. Yes, I did. I'll work on it later. There is a pressing issue at hand. I want you to sign some documents. What kind of documents? Your approval to move one million naira from the company's account to a client's account is needed. One million naira? What for? There is this company we have to partner with. How do you do it, bro? I was very shocked when I saw the one million naira alert on my phone. Whenever I tell you to trust me, never you doubt me. All you have to do is to trust me. <laughs> Man, one million naira is such a huge amount of money. How did you do it? It is very simple. I only told her to transfer the money to a client's account. I didn't want to use my own account, else she would have known. And she transferred the money without asking questions? That is how dumb she is. Although she asked questions, but it was easy for me to deceive her. She knows nothing about that business. How about the board members? I did not suspect anything. Have you forgotten that I am the general manager of that company? I am higher than all of them in position. Whatever I see stands. 